This is quite a shocking story here. There's anger at the Met Safety School officer returns after a student was wrongfully arrested. We're going to read into this more from Open Democracy, you guys. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, this is Regan Lee here with an article from Open Democracy with the headline that there's been anger at the Met Safer School officer's return after the student was wrongfully arrested. A community meeting was held in Lambeth to support the black Muslim student who was traumatised by the ordeal. So let me get this straight. So <clears throat> obviously we don't know I don't know the full story, so we're gonna read into it in just a moment, guys. So the I so what happened here, there was a wrongful arrest. Understandably, that school person, the school child, was traumatised by the incident. And yet that Met officer was allowed to come back to the school after it happened. That's not exactly a very good very good picture to paint, is it? Um, that doesn't feel right in, all, in, all, in any way, shape or form. I mean, I'm just seeing this picture here. Um, this uh, says we keep our we keep our kids safe. Cops out of schools. No more safer school officers. Says police. Says over police community. Small guys, man, sketty image here. So they don't want any cops visiting their schools, which is that's not a helpful. That's not a helpful um, <coughs> helpful image whatsoever. And if they don't want them there, that's that's really breaching once more the trust that police officers are supposed to have within their communities. Now, obviously, when the police get things wrong, they need to apologise and, and own up to their mistakes. But I'm just wondering, just how, how much, mis how many mistakes have the police made to get to a point where they don't even want them anywhere near their schools? That's worth uh, questions that need to be asked there. <clears throat> so the Metropolitan Police has been criticised for allowing an officer to return to his school post after he wrongfully arrested a black Muslim student and left her traumatised. The arrest took place when the officer spotted the girl among a group of children playing with, an, with a nearby shop shutter after school. Her parents say she was manhandled by the officer, pushed into a nearby betting shop, handcuffed and arrested on suspicion of burglary. Really? We're talking about a schoolgirl here. And I'm going to make suspicion on burglary and pushed her into a betting shop. Wow. This feels very out of order here. Police sent 14 vehicles to the scene during the incident in May last year, but the girl was de-arrested after police found no crime had been committed. Her family also said the girl's Habjib, Hab, Hibab, uh, Habjib was pulled off during the incident, which police deny, insisting it was already partially removed before the incident began. Something tells me that the police are selling porky pies here. <clears throat> Fourteen vehicles to the scene. Why do they need to send... This is this is what I call... If this is to be true, this is what I call a massive waste of police time. This right here. Fourteen vehicles. What do you need to send 14 vehicles to a scene like this? This is pathetic if this is to be true. The girl's mother told Open Democracy that her daughter was left traumatised by the ordeal and she was taken to hospital with bruising on her wrist. She said her daughter received no officer support from the school or the police. Oh, wow, that's so horrible. She was in the middle of fastening. She was doing her GCSEs. I don't want, I don't want what happened to my daughter to happen to any child, she said. The officer had to take time off from the school because of an injury sustained at the incident, according to the Met. But earlier this month, there no notice from the police or school. The girl's parents discovered the officer was back at the school after hearing about it from the other daughter, the other daughter who goes there. An emergency community meeting in Lambeth last week, hosted by the Alliance for Police Accountability, the APA can group, the girl's mother said no one warned the family that the officer would be back. When he came back, my daughter said to me, Mum, he came to our class and said, I've been away for a while and I'm back for good, she said. While the officer has since been moved out of the school to another post, the girl's parents are demanding to know why he returned at all following the highly dramatic experience for the then 16-year-old. Police would not be pushed on why the, officer was, why the officer returned to the school. 
One man attending the meeting said, I went to the school in Lambeth. I grew up at a time when police officers weren't allowed in schools. There's no reason why it sh this should be a thing now. This is over-policing of black children. The police sh should have known after this incident not to have sent that officer back to that school. I mean, it's blatant common sense there. It's blatantly obvious that after what happened, you're not going to send that officer back there. Why did this happen? Never mind the outrageous alleged incident that the officer occurred, but you even let him back into the, to the same school? Am I the only one here who's pointing out the pointing out the the absolute outrageousness of this? It is ridiculous, and I just I, I I sympathize so deeply not just with the daughter but the parents, and her friends who were there who may who were there who probably were there at the incident, and then to see that officer again, after what happened, that's traumatizing. That puts fear in children, and we don't, we're not supposed to be putting fear and and worries. We're supposed to be bringing positivity to children when they're at a young age, and giving them hope. And this kind of stuff does not help in any way, shape, or form. That's gonna have a that's gonna have a psychological effect on her later in life. Never mind just now. It's not good at all. It really is not. This is absolutely disgraceful from the Metropolitan Police. If this is all to be true. Lee Jasper, chair of the APA, agreed and cited the recent cases of Child Q and Child X, example of altification, where the perception of some children, particularly black children, as being more grown up or adult leads to the lack of proportionate safeguarding. The parents of the schoolgirl demanded a meeting with the police so they can explain to everyone why he was reinstated. They also called for the Met Safe for School officers to be abolished for the trauma counselling to be offered to children like their daughter who's experiencing violence at the hands of the police. There was no support for my daughter after she was arrested, the girl's mother said. What is the benefit of the Met Police having counselling with... I just, that's just, just... There's the reason why we've talked on this channel, if you've seen some of my previous videos, about how the Met Police have been handling themselves in London. Um, and I have to stress this again because I really do need to stress this because I need to stress this in every video because I really want to make this important. Not all police officers are like this. There are good police officers out there who do wonderful work and I really have to emphasize that point, okay? Because we hear more about bad police officers than we do about good police officers. It's very important to emphasize there are some very good police officers who do some wonderful work. But again, when we hear stories like this, it just... And it's been going on and on and on with many, many bad police officers. Just goes to show that the Metropolitan Police are just not adequate enough yet to do their jobs to protect the well-being of the citizens that they're supposed to look after. That's why I've said that reforming the police service is not good enough anymore. It's not working anymore. It needs to be dissolved and a new police force needs to be built up from scratch. I've talked about this before on many previous videos. A formal complaint about the wrongful arrest was made to the police in August last year and the Met Police confirmed last week that it's still being investigated by one of its professional standard units. By the way, just for a caveat, I did a video um, not too long ago. Um, from There was an article from Byline Times where only about 1% of the complaints are being looked up by the police force when it comes to the complaints from them. And the whole police force. I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen that. But it takes forever for them to chase up complaints. It really does. Just let me get rid of that. Lambeth Police at the time said so many police officers attended because of the officer had pressed the emergency button and requested more units for the fear of being assaulted. Fear of being assaulted? A schoolgirl! But the APA, which has supported the family, said that the children at the scene were simply trying to let the officer know the girl wasn't guilty of burglary. Earlier this month, another community meeting was held in Hackney to discuss Child X. The 13-year-old black boy who was rammed off his bike by police and held at gunpoint after a Met officer mistook his water pistol for a real firearm. At the meeting, Hackney Borough Com uh, Commander James 
Crow Crowley admitted that the Met is institutionally racist, and he said he is trying to change things, but came under fire from the audience for not doing enough. Our children are being violated, and no one is doing about it. Jasper said, "They're not doing enough about it. This is just a shocking case, and they're not helping themselves." Communities, how are communities supposed to feel safe when they don't have a police force that they can trust? Trust has been broken here. Another example of trust being broken between the police and the community they're supposed to be supporting. This is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. It's not good enough. The Home Office, the government needs to do more. Yes, the independent, um, the police are an independent body, but this independent body is nowhere near adequate anymore. It's lost its adequacy. And I feel sorry for the police officers that are trying to make, trying to do what's right and trying to do the good, the best that they can in a difficult situation. But there are too many officers who are taking advantages of situations, who are jumping to conclusions, who are not given the proper training, who are clearly, and maybe physically or mentally, not, not coping with their role anymore. Because I think all these things need to be taken into account. I think they really do. And it's easy, and obviously I can understand if somebody comments saying that you don't know what it's like to be a police officer. You're right, I don't know what it's like to be a police officer. But when you see countless story after story after story after story of police officers doing so many wrongful things, you have to question the Metropolitan Police, you have to question the police force in, in the UK, and whether they are adequate enough to do the jobs that they are doing. And that's the, that's the point that I need to make to you. If you're the one who's saying that I don't know what it's like, you're right, I don't know. But like I said before, there's been more than enough stories and the cases and stories continue to pile up. And that trust is ever more eroding between people and the police force. And it's just not good enough whatsoever. And it puts fear in, into, in, into children when they know that they cannot even trust the police force. Why should people dial 999 for the police if they don't trust the police they are going to be there to protect them? if they know that they're going to take advantage of them. Because that's what's been the case on many occasions now, we've started to see. The police have been taking advantage of their powers. And it's not good enough in any way, shape or form. People in this country are no longer feeling safe. And it needs to change, and it needs to change now. What do you make of this story? What do you make of the Met Police? Do you believe that Metropolitan Police should be dissolved and be built from the ground up? Do you believe in me that there are still many good police officers who are trying their absolute best to do what's right for, for the public, but there's just far too many negative stories out there? Let me know what you guys honestly think in the comments section down below. Hit the like button, we greatly appreciate it. Share this story across social media so others are aware of it. And hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when I upload another video. And if you want to financially support me, you can do so by buying me a coffee or joining me on Patreon. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to catch you all very, very soon.